Hi guys, Asmo here and today I have for you a little bit of a help for everyone trying to figure out the atlas progression. This is going to be a very straightforward guide for progressing your atlas and what you should do in order to acquire all of the watchstones and complete basically the entire atlas and have uh, high tier maps as soon as possible. So this league I'm using a little bit of a different strategy than before. I learned some new things so I thought I'm gonna share them with you. Uh, basically from the uh, beginning uh, whenever you start you're gonna have lookout, glacier, tropical island and desert map. Uh, this league these are the specific maps but in any other league you probably have just like four maps here and uh, they are connected to other things. Uh, this league they're connected the same way they were connected the last league so uh, it's not that important like what specific map that is but it's Im it is important what tier it is and where it is located. So the first thing you want to do is you want to try to run uh, either lookout or desert before like you run the other tier ones as well but like try to spam lookouts and, and deserts prioritize them because they have the quickest connection it's only one two three to uh, uh, the outside region the corner region you need to rush the corner regions in order to get your first watchstones so don't worry about like getting every single map in this region it doesn't really matter early on if you get it cool just you can run it if it makes sense uh, but usually uh, usually a lot of the time it doesn't so for example let's say i have desert right and i'm running desert and i drop colonnade and i drop ivory temple i want to run colonnade instead of ivory temple if i have another colonnade and an ivory temple i run colonnade again i don't complete it yet because I want Colonnade to keep dropping as a tier 2 because if that keeps dropping and I run it then I can uh, get Sunken City, right? Same here, if I am uh, if I run Lookout and I get Waterways and Summit then I will run Summit and then I want to spam Summit every single time I can so that I can connect to Val Pyramid, right? And Val Pyramid is in the corner region so once you get to the corner regions you, uh, you want to run it until you have the conqueror uh, appear and spawn. You're going to have to run three maps and then you do the citadel and then you get the watchstone. And you do that in this corner region. And once you, or, or this or this or this, depending on which one you get first, right? That's kind of RNG. Uh, but the quickest path is like through lookout, summit and to here to, to get to this region. And then to the bottom left, which is New Vastir, the quickest one is through uh, Colonnade and then Sunken City. And then the quickest one to this and this is actually through going Glacier and then either uh, Underground Sea and Excavation or going to like Mausoleum, Ashenwood and then either Plateau or... Um, or cemetery right this is actually just as quick as here but you're gonna already have these maps so it's actually quicker to connect to this from this region so once you get you know, once you once you get to like all of the corners you basically all you need to do is like run three maps and it can be the same map as you can see i only run grotto in this region and i got the watchstone for this right so after you get uh, your first watchstone you want to socket a watchstone into an inner region this will make the maps of uh, uh, of the tiers uh, go up and basically you'll be able to have tier 4 and tier 5s here in the beginning right you'll probably have uh, all of these or all of these or wh whatever region you're socketing that first watchstone and that's will you do that after you discover the first one um, but make sure that it's not the one that you still need to run. So for example, if I went up to here and this is where I found my first conqueror, then I'm happy socketing it here because I will no longer need these maps because I will no longer need to get to this region. However, if I first found a conqueror here and then I socket this, well now, now these maps are different tiers and I cannot find them by running this or by, by running other maps because they're too high tier and so I cannot connect to this, right? So what you want to do is make sure that you put it preferably in a region that you don't need to run at the moment, right? If you do it here, 
and that me and you still need to run it to get to here just wait with socketing this wardstone until you until you get both of these regions and then you can socket this and then you go go ahead and rush to the bottom, bottom left corner and the top left corner right so that's what you want to do so let's say you have that one watchstone what happens now uh i did this region i got my first watchstone i put it here now i while i'm rushing to these while i'm rushing to this while i'm rushing to this i'm gonna be doing tier 4 maps i'm gonna be doing tier 4 i'm gonna be maybe doing tier 5 maps if they drop right and i have them in this region and while i'm doing that i will have tier 4 and tier 5 here right tier 4 and tier 5 here will be unlocked and they will be dropping for you naturally because you have them unlocked so as you're running tier 4 and tier 5 the tier 4 and tier 5 from the region where you have socketed um, watchstone are gonna be dropping and you're building up your map pool for the future region that you're gonna be running while you're doing these three remaining watchstones once you get these three remaining watchstones now you're going to be running this. So what you want to do is go ahead and socket a couple of the watchstones into another region. Uh, yeah, because you, you discovered these four, you got four watchstones and these watchstones required uh, no watchstones to spawn them, right? The conquerors require no watchstones to spawn them in the corners at first. And then later on, in order to spawn, con spawn con conquerors, you need to have one socketed watchstone. So I already have this completed, but if I if I go here, this would show um, this would show come on uh, number of socketed watchstones uh, required to spawn conquerors. This is three because I'm already further ahead. But at first it will say one, and you will basically run the region that you have one watchstone socketed four times. You will spawn all four conquerors and get all four watchstones from that region. And you, if it if you can just run one map over and over, you can do it. But try to progress and try to get to T7. So when you're when you're here, that would be like the toxic sewer. When you're here, that would be like the volcano, the arsenal, right? So this is a bad region for T7s. Uh, but there are I think this one might be better. Let's see, we have orchard we have shore even park arena right so this is like the lowest region this is, this is possibly like the hardest to do so if you can like prioritize the bottom left that would be probably even better uh, but eventually you're gonna get to like t6 and t7s and that means you can start getting the uh, maps from the region that you have two watchstones socketed and those are t8 maps and t9 maps so as you're doing t7 you can get t8 maps from the plus one from like killing um, rare monsters and killing bosses and so on so you will find a few of those and early on it's not that difficult to sustain you're gonna get plenty of maps and at this point uh, you will be running this like multiple times right you're gonna get the four conquerors and four watchstones and you just don't use them don't socket them anywhere you don't need to like you could i don't know if you socket one watchstone here then potentially you're gonna have like uh t7 or t8 even unlocked somewhere here uh, and that will that might screw with your drops right so you want to make sure that you ha you are you have one region that you're running that has the number of socketed watchstones that is required to spawn a conqueror and one region that you're preparing that has one watchstone extra so that you can progress so after you do this four times you're gonna do this four times and while you're doing it you want to make sure that you unsocket this and then another inner region that you haven't socketed yet you're gonna make sure to put three watchstones in it so again we're running two watchstones this is what we are running right now and then we're preparing a map pool for another region and we get three watchstones so for example if i put these watchstones here which has a better uh, amount of better variety of maps you're gonna be able to see that right now this gives me t10 t11 t11 and i already have some of these maps from the lex proxima region because i've already prepared that right so i already have the cemetery uh, uh which is here and ashenwood which is here so i'm going to be able to run this region after i'm done with this one in this one i still have how many 
one more conqueror to spawn. So after I spawn this conqueror and I'm gonna be running T10s and T11s to do it, then I'm gonna be progressing to this one, right? And at that point I will unsocket these two watchstones and I will socket four watchstones into the last region. And at that point that will get me up to T14 and then I will do as many maps as I can here and from this region I will probably remove at least uh, one watchstone because you can have these watchstones socketed in for higher awakener level but just make sure that all of the maps are lower than anything that you need to drop so that means if I need T14s then that means I can only have socketed here maps that give until T13 right so I can socket three watchstones in here as well and that will also not mess it up I use, you can see I raised my awakener level which uh, which helps you with the drops but it doesn't mess up anything because T4, T13 is the highest I can drop from here which means I won't be uh, like any T14 I drop will be from the region I actually want right so that's what you need to do you need to like make sure that you're preparing the maps and the map pool for the region you will run next um, so yeah I would run the four and while I'm running this four I will have another region uh, which is the outer region right preparing so uh, that means I will have four watchstones let me make sure I can put this here let's get a green one this is so difficult to click for no good reason um, okay so now this ha this starts with T14 and T15 so I will have another corner region because you do first one inner region another inner, another inner, another inner, and after those you spawn four, four conquerors in each and then you have what's left is the corner ones which still need three conquerors to be spawned in each of them. So in this region, for example, I have spawned the yellow one, right? So I need to make sure that uh, I run it I run it only three times, so I spawn three conquerors and then I go to another one because the fourth time I will not be able to spawn because I already have, I mean, I might spawn it, but I will not get the uh, watchstone, right? So only run it until you uh, get the three watchstones, which means four for the region total and their order will be fine. Like it will never spawn the one you have before the ones you don't. Um, so you'll do one corner region with four watchstones, unsocket the four watchstones from here and while you're doing this one, have another one with four socketed watchstones that you're preparing the map pool for. And basically, this is called leapfrogging, right? You're basically leapfrogging while doing one region and then building a map pool for another one so that at most you're having maps drop from two regions instead of the entire freaking atlas. That map pool will be too diluted and it will be too hard to progress anything. So after you do the corner regions, that means you have all of the watchstones. It's 32 watchstones, I think, right? Because uh, 8 times 4. Uh, and at that point, you can do with your watchstones whatever you want. Preferably, you just have all of them socketed. You, fa you favorite your maps. You do the awakening bonuses. Uh, and you just do completion and awakening bonuses to raise the... Uh, quality of your quantity of your drops right from the awakener bonuses and so on so that's basically it it's pretty complex at first but once you get the idea that you're supposed to have one region like once you get how maps drops and and how to socket the watchstones to prepare one region in advance it's very very simple and it's much much faster than like trying to do every single map in this region and every single map in this every single map in this every single map in this and then progressing to this, doing all of the maps that you have and then finding a watchstone and then socketing one watchstone and then again doing all, trying to find the maps that you're missing. That's a very, very, very bad and slow way of doing it. The way I showed you the leapfrogging strategy is much quicker and much more effective and will get you to a higher tier maps much faster. So that's it. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you to the Patreon supporters who are using the loot filters. Hopefully uh, you're having fun with that. I'm going to keep posting updates to those anytime I change something. See you next time.